GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, codingface.com. You already know it's your boy. Listen, all right. So people been asking me, hey man, how do you apply for a job, especially when they ask me for 30,000 things, man? Well, guys, like, what you gotta know is that that's just a wish list. You know, when you see an employee ask for, this person gotta know object oriented programming, functional programming, 30,000 different languages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, freaking Ruby, iOS development. They might even throw Android development. And like, nobody has all of those skills. I mean, there might be a guy, you know, somewhere in some basement that is just pretty much doesn't have a personal life and just freaking try to learn every single thing under the sun. But in reality, he doesn't know anything because he spread out so much that he don't know shit. Well, you know, there might be a guy like that. But <laughs> for you guys, don't worry about what it says in the description. Like, you know, if it's 20 items, right? And you have seven of those skills, you're fine. If you have five of them skills, you're fine. Just apply for it. Because what it's telling you is, that's what like what they really want from somebody to have. But will they get that? No, it's just like a wish list, man. When you ask for Santa, you be like, Santa, send me, you know, uh, 30 girls and with <laughs> big booties and send me three Xbox Ones and send me, uh, you know, a flat screen TV and a brand new 4K camera. Will Santa give you that? No, Santa's gonna come through and gonna give you like, here, man, here's a couple of socks. That's how it is for employers too. Like they throw out this freaking long list of things that they want and will they get it? Not really, you know? So for you guys as the ones that are applying for the job is, you gotta think about it like this. You gotta say, hey, I gotta look at the list, see how many things I actually have from it. If I have at least 45% of whatever's on the list, then yeah, apply for it. Of course, you're not gonna apply for something that is like, hey, senior level, 10 years of experience, and that, this, 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 and this, right? Don't apply for it, because one, you're gonna look stupid, that's one. Two, when you go to the interview, they're gonna make you feel stupid. So just don't do it, right? Now, for junior developers, if it says developer or front-end developer, or it says junior de developer or junior front-end or junior back-end, apply for those jobs. It means you have a very large chance that you're gonna get picked or you're gonna get hired. You have to understand too, there's so many people out here, right? That are doing development, but not everybody is actually applying for jobs or everybody's actually going for those top jobs at Google or Facebook. Most of those guys don't get into those companies, right? So it's like they spend the whole time trying to apply for this large company. Like, you know, I know somebody who, who tried to uh, apply for Google for like 10 years. Like, what the hell? Like, if they didn't want me the first time, I'm not applying for them again, even after my skills are even much better like I don't need to be in a place where I already got shut down you know what I mean like they're not that important you know so uh, yeah but for you guys just go ahead man just apply it's not gonna hurt you to apply it's not gonna hurt you to go to the interview because you have to understand for me when I when I started applying for jobs I started applying for like big companies right I didn't get hired like on the first time I got hired on my fourth uh, fourth time that I went to uh, a different job interview why because the first one I was lost I didn't know what the hell was going on I was like nervous and I didn't even know how to answer the questions then I learned from that one the second one I was like okay I'm gonna show up I, I'm a little bit better but then when I got there they were looking for somebody who had more experience they would say hey you're a great candidate you know, and then from there, they're like, okay, the only issue is you don't have that much experience. So then I would say, okay, now I have to cut down on, on different type of applications, right? So I have to apply for companies that are looking from one to three years. So then I started applying for those companies. Then 
they call me up and then they call me up again did a second interview and for whatever reason they didn't hire me and that was fine i was like okay cool then i applied for this e-commerce website uh it was an e-commerce company uh called zm distribution it was like an ebay wholesaler and pretty much they called me back i you know i replied to them and i went in and that's it i got the job all right guys make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video man if you want to support the channel just click on the links below and basically click either on the amazon link or you click on the udemy link so whenever you buy an item basically like a little percent i think it's like three or four percent we get it back over here at the channel and we could actually help out other developers if you didn't know we actually give 25 percent of all the earnings to basically all the other developers here that are actually subscribed to this channel 